you know, listening to you, uh, Ms. Allison, small communities have something that's really very, very special. It's trust. You trust one another. And there's been a breach of trust here. One of the biggest beneficiaries of the trust in a community like yours, and we have many like yours in Vermont, one of the biggest beneficiaries is Norfolk Southern. They can roll their two to three mile trains through there without anybody asking a question because you trust them to do the right thing. And they didn't do the right thing. And they had the opportunity to do the right thing, uh, but they made other priorities, stock buybacks in the billions, shortening crews, doing the things that a mom would never do to take a shortcut to provide that security, like to your seven-year-old. And the heart of the discussion here is whether, as a result of the breach of trust by a very large and very powerful, uh, very wealthy corporation, your government, and it's your government, should step in to restore justice to you and your fellow citizens. And that's what this hearing is about. Will government step up to provide physical, emotional, uh, and health security as a result of this, just like it would if there was a military threat to our country, where government has got to be on the side of folks like you and your neighbors. So I'm very grateful to you, very, feel very badly at that breach of trust, because you know that trust gets you through hard times. You don't even complain, because you know your neighbor's got your back. Well, you have to know the government's got your back.